Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this episode of Godric Manson's My Player Season. As you saw there, guys, after that helicopter crash, we did manage to survive. Nothing major went wrong at all. Surprisingly enough, we got out of there alive, but the helicopter did explode and the pilot is now dead, guys. So we are just in a funny mindset at the moment. We're going to have to take a break from flying helicopters, I think, because it just went crazy that day. But we're going to just continue our life as we go normally now with a game against Cagliari coming up in this episode and then a game against Roma and then we've got Juventus top of the table at the moment so we're doing really well 25 points 4 points clear of second place into Milan but yeah guys that helicopter crash was pretty intense but luckily we landed in the water it was actually really lucky that we got out when we did after it sat on fire in that storm and then we got rescued by the coast guards and they saved us and it was all pretty good from there and as you can see here guys we're just having a look around as well and some of these cars in this car park that our teammates have are really really nice and i'm thinking maybe we should buy a new car soon because our one's not the greatest car and it could do with a bit of an upgrade so guys we're going to be having a look into getting a new car in this episode i want you guys to let me know down in the comments which one of the two choices you'd like to see us buying in the next episode or the one after that and as you can see from all these stats popping up guys we're doing really well in the league really well in the goals and the assists and we're going to be getting into this game away from home against Cagliari today in Italy, not Spain, Italy. And we're going to be getting into this one. Not a big crowd here today, mostly Cagliari fans, obviously. And as you can see, they're in 10th place down there. We're in first place with 25 points. And we're looking for all three points here today. Only one loss this season, one draw, the rest wins. So we're doing really, really well. There's Manston there, still recovering slightly from the trauma of the helicopter crash it was pretty crazy what happened and it just all happened so suddenly in an adrenaline rush almost drowned as well but we managed to make it out alive and we are here today playing on as always can't stop playing can't give up the football we had a couple days off to rest from training but we recovered pretty quickly it was not much the fall was a pretty good one we landed in the water and we didn't die from impact obviously so we're okay and we're going to be getting into this game here against Cagliari now away from home looking for three points on the table if we can ideally that would be perfect because just to put us even more at the top of the table Manson playing so well top of the goals top of the assists in the league so hopefully looking for player of the year as well I'm really aiming for player of the year which would be awesome as you can see let's get this game underway here we go five minutes in now laying it forward there can we get this one forward Planish back to Manston but he's just offside there fifth minute in unlucky for Juventus and here we come with another chance now Manston on the right wing looking to get this one forward here laying it in there to Kante Kante to Planish but Planish can't quite get that one away then looks like he's been injured as well there from that tackle but Bogger's there running it into the box lays it into City goes in the top corner guys City scores here to make it 1-0 out of nowhere that goal comes in the 14th minute 1-0 up against Kaka Cagliari, a very interesting ball in there from Bogger, hits the defenders but bounces up and City manages to pounce on that one and head it into the back of the net. Very lucky there to get that chance but very good reading of the game there to get into the right positioning. His fifth goal in the league this season, he's doing really, really well for a striker as well and good on him for getting that goal there and picking out the opportunity when it came along. Here we go guys, getting this game back underway with Cagliari making their way forward now. 22nd minute of this game, Joey Petro there laying it in. Can they get this one side of the area here? They've laid it on the edge of the box. Their great chance, it's the keeper and it's going to be headed into our own net guys. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. I don't know why he's celebrating. It was a blatant own goal from our player look at this could have headed it away then but he's gone and headed it into the back of our own net to make it one at one here guys but 
Bonucci there with the own goal. 1-1, one, one, not long after the first goal. And here we come now with the halftime whistle. And guys, we're going to be heading into the break at 1-1. One, one. Bit disappointed at the moment, but it's not been too bad. We had a very lucky chance for us. They had a very lucky chance for them. So it's pretty even in this game so far. Looking to get another goal here to take the lead. And looking to play a bit better in the second half if we can. And here we come forward with a chance now. Manson on the ball on the right wing. 49 minutes in there, getting a tackle from the defender in. And he gets it <coughs> cleared out for a corner kick. And here comes the corner kick now, 50 minutes into this game. Can we get this one in the area, crossing in there, it's in the middle, trying to get on someone on it, but Bogger's there, going to get this on the edge of the area, having a shot there, but it's saved by the goalkeeper, pushed out for another corner. Now, here we come with a Cagliari chance, though, 65 minutes in, not much happening in the second half, a couple chances, nothing major, but here they come with a great chance, Ponce there with the shot, good save from Nito to keep that one out, 66 minutes down, and it's still 1-1 here. Here they come with another chance, Ponce making his way forward here for Cagliari, can they break the deadlock here to make it 2-1, they're working their way in the box here, great header there. There and it's gone in the back of the net. Cagliari taking the lead. Zades with the goal. 2-1 up against Juventus. How are we losing this game? Great ball in, great header, and great goal to be honest from Cagliari to take the lead. And they're doing pretty well in this game. That's his second goal of the season. They got lucky with the first goal. Very well played second goal. And Juventus just aren't doing enough to win this game at the moment. They're not doing enough to score or even make chances to shine. And here we come now. Manson winning the ball back here. 88 minutes in, guys. This game is almost over now. Donis on the ball. Can he let it to Manson? Here's making his way forward there. Manson's feet. Manson takes the shot there. Punched out by the goalkeeper. Great save. It wasn't going in. But here comes the 90th minute now, guys. Can we get one last chance in this game? Rossetti on the ball there laying it in there can we get this one to Alexandro into Manston here but Manston can't quite get the space to open it up and he's been tackled there it looks like this game is gonna be over here at 2-1 guys and we go and get a 2-1 loss not the result we were looking for definitely not and we've gone and got ourselves given away three points really we should have had at least a draw out of that but we played pretty poorly out there today so deservedly Cagliari come away with a 2-1 victory and that's very disappointing, guys. So we're going to head out of that game, head back home to Children, and we're going to be heading out a couple of days later and looking at the car shop. And we're going to look at some cars for you guys to choose. I want you to let me know down in the comments which one of the two that are on display here that you want to see us driving around for the remainder of our time here at Juventus, or if not longer. But here we are, guys, just arriving at the car place and now looking to get in and have a look and see what they've got to offer. And I think you guys will like these two cars It'll be interesting, there's a Laudi and an Ambi uh, Lamborghini and an Audi, so it's going to be pretty cool. They're pretty classy cars, and you guys can let me know what kind of colours you want to see them in. If you want me to get both, I could get both, or we could just get one, and we could customise it with spoilers and colours and, and vinyls and everything. But here we are, guys, arriving now, just talking to the guy at the front here, just finding out what, what, we, can, what we can do, what we can look at. And he says, come have a look at these. They're yours to buy if you want to take them home in the next week or so. And we're like, sweet. So we're going to have a look here, guys. And as you can see, they're an Audi R8. This one's currently with a spoiler and it's in white. And it's got black rims and black everything else. It looks pretty damn sweet. And I know for a fact that it goes pretty damn fast too. So we could get that one. It looks awesome. Or we could get this Lamborghini here, guys. This Lamborghini looks amazing. And I can't quite remember the name of it off by heart. There it is, Vino. I can't remember if I had but there is a very nice the brand new Lamborghini there as well so guys it's up to you what you want to see me driving for the re remainder of the season at least an Audi R8 or a Lamborghini it's up to you I want you to let me know down in the comments right, right now which one you want us to pick and for the next episode or the one after that we will get the car that we've chosen bought and customized to what you guys want to see it customized to because it's going to be huge it's going to be your first decent car we've bought in a while after we've had so many car problems lately we have got the one outside but it's kind of crap it's kind of just a running around car to be honest and we want to buy a nice expensive one here and if you guys don't like these cars let me know what kind of cars you do want to buy and i'll see what i can do about that but for now we're going to be heading into the next game it's a big game as well in this episode the second game here against uh, roma coming up we've got juventus top of the table still but only one point ahead now roma and inter are one point behind us with 11 games played each so they're right behind us if a win here we'll put see them top of the table but a win here will see us go definitely top getting paid there guys so we're almost at 10 million pounds 
and we're gonna be earning a lot more money here in our time. So 10 million pounds in the bank, guys. What do you wanna see me buy besides a car? Should we continue our adventures with helicopters and buy one? Should we go try to learn to fly a plane? Should we buy a cruise ship? Should we buy a whole bunch of cars? Or should we do something different with our money? You guys let me know down in the comments what you want to see. But for now, we're at home at the Aventus Stadium. We're about to get into this game in the City A against Roma. It's a huge game here, guys. First time playing against one of the big teams besides AC Milan. And here we are looking at the stadium. The fans have come out in force today. And as you can see there, Roma sitting in third place with only one loss this season. And you Ventus sitting in first place, so we're doing really well. City there starting the line with Coleman up front this time. Manson, Kante, Planich, Alexandra on the left instead of Coleman, Fabiano, Fabinho in the center defensive mid stage. And we've got a pretty interesting 4 3 3 lineup. El Sorari on the left, Batisio up top, and it's looking pretty dangerous from Roma in this game if they can get a few chances forward definitely with Al Shirari he got player of the month last season uh, last month and then we got it this month and it's going to be really interesting to see these probably be our main competitors this season as well as Inter and here we come forward great learn there from Manson looking to get inside in the first minute of this game six minutes in crosses it in but blocked by the defense and cleared out of play quite quickly and here comes <coughs> <coughs> excuse me here comes Fabinho with the ball, playing it to Kante. Great chance from Coleman there. Makes it 1-0 from that chance. Nine minutes into this game, guys. We've already gone 1-0 up against Roma. Juventus here with the first goal. What play from Juventus it was. Look at that. One pass there straight through to Coleman. Takes it on his right foot into the bottom right-hand corner of the net. And no one's saving that one there. Great finish from him. Manston not involved with that piece of play, but doesn't need to be. It's led to a great goal from the left winger who's starting up front in this game. And a good piece of play from the manager to put him there and guys can we capitalize on this now one new up against Roma one of the bigger teams in City A one of the more challenging teams and we've gone and got ourselves the lead can we hold this till the last minute can we add to this 17 minutes in here they come with a chance now great piece of play there Pardes on the ball having a shot there wide of the goal and wasn't enough to go into the back of the net here we come now though 20 minutes coming into this game defensive error there from Blanco a shot there good save from Nido to keep that one out what was Blanco doing there with that touch and here comes Aichube on the ball. Sorry if I'm ruining the pronunciations of these players, but here he comes now, laying it in there perfectly to Tusli. Can't quite get that one in either. Nito with another great save, keeping us in this game. 41st minute, here we come now with Al Sharari laying it in the middle there, having a shot there, Padres. But he can't quite get that one on target once again. And it looks like we're going to be heading near half time soon. But Leo Bautizio laying it there forward to Tulisio. Can't quite get that one in the back either. Another, another great save from Nito to keep that at 1 0 to Juventus. And we're going to be heading into this half time break here. 1 0 up. Can we hold this lead, guys? We're into the half time stage at 1 0. Coleman with the goal. Can we make it two? Can we hold this at 1 0 to the final whistle? This is a vital three points in the league this season. Let's get forward here with Roma on the ball. Getting a tackle in there, Sandra, but not enough. Cross into the area there. El Sharari with the volley. And he's gone and put him level with 1 1. El Sharari, the man with the goal then, and no surprise with him being the goal scorer. Good play from Roma to put that one in the box, and all he had to do was tap that one in with a bit of skill, which he did. Look at this guy's great cross in there. We've conceded two goals to crosses in the last two games. This one just now and the goal against uh, us, against uh, Cagli Ari, where they crossed in and headed it into the middle. Just the centre-back's just not doing too well. And we scored an own goal in that last game. What is happening with the Juventus defence lately is not good. But here comes Roma with another chance. Now 69 minutes in there, getting it into the box. A good chance there for Baptisio. And it's been saved by Nito again, playing really well with great hands. 70 minutes in, 20 minutes to go. <coughs> Can they do it? Yes, they can. Florenzi, guys. 2-1 down to Roma now, just like Cagliari. 2-1 down, down here after scoring the first goal. 70 minutes in. Only 20 minutes remaining, and Nito really annoyed with himself there. Great play from the corner, though, to head that one on and volley in first time in between the goalkeeper and the player on the corner. And a deserved goal for Roma, to be honest, with all their chances they're having. Nothing happening for Juventus in this game. And we're playing really poorly at the moment. Manson really not being able to concentrate after just recovering from his hospital visit after that crash. And here we come, trying our hardest to work our way forward. Now Coman there, laying it back heel to Manson. Manson with a great chance, opening up the space here. Turns on the edge of the box, tries to chip it in there, but no one's ready for it. And it gets 
cleared out of play there. Manson cleaning up, trying to make something of this second chance here. Can we get this one in the area now? Getting a good ball in there, but it's blocked straight away by the defence there. 75 minutes gone. Here we come now. Not long left to go within the last five minutes of this game coming up. Can Manson make his way forward here? Laying it to Coleman. There he's laid off to someone else who's laid it to Coleman who's had the shot and it's got it. It's two. Two guys. 84 minutes into this game. Coleman's done it again. Playing up front for Juventus for the first time this season and getting two goals to show for it. Maybe he should be the striker from now on because he is finishing those chances off with goals. And what play that was. Manson laying it off there for the first guy. The second, uh, first guy laying it off there straight to Coleman's feet. Look at that first time and a touch out shot and it's in the back of the net just like that. It is 2-2 in this game guys. 84 minutes in. Can we get a goal in the last six minutes of this game? Can we do it? We've got a great chance here to win this game now at home at the Aventus Stadium. Can we do it here? Coleman with a fantastic goal there. That makes it his third goal of the season. Two goals in this game. So he only scored one before. But here we come getting this game kicked off now with not long left to go. Can we do anything with it here? Roma making their way forward at the back there. But it looks like this game is going to finish, guys. 90th minute. Roma just playing it around. There it goes, guys. We come out of this game with a point. So not actually too bad on the scoreline. 2-2 against a pretty decent side. It's not a bad score. <coughs> Coleman with two goals, Al Sharari with one. And it's been a pretty good game overall. And we can't be too unhappy with that. We're going to head out of this um, game now, guys, and head out of the episode with those results and what has happened in this episode. So let me know down in the comments with those cars, guys. Which one do you want to see me purchasing in the next episode? Audi or Lamborghini? As you can see, we've got the Champions League group stage. Two left to go, I think. Benfica, then Real Madrid. So we need to win both of those. And then we've got a game against Pescara coming up on the 28th of November, just before we head into December, coming up to Christmas soon. And we're doing pretty well in the league, pretty well in there. As you can see, guys, the table for the Champions League is looking a bit interesting. Juventus sitting in third place with five points behind Genk and Madrid, who are both on seven in first and second. So we need to make sure both of them lose as many games as possible otherwise we're going to be in for a tough tough champions league season guys but for now please like share subscribe comment on this video what you want to see happening with the cars which one you want to see me buy what customization what colors and everything but for now i'll see you in the next episode guys i'll see you later peace